Hi, I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production specialist. Thank you for joining me today and Colour Me In for another post-production demonstration. Today, we're gonna to look at DaVinci Resolve 17 and the media management function alongside the archive function. Let's get into the demo now. Hi, welcome back. Okay, so today we're in Resolve 17 and I wanna show you the differences between a few elements here. So here's Resolve, very short Resolve timeline, okay? If I just minimize this and we go to the desktop, you can see I set up a, a folder structure here. And we've got different things. We've got archive, we have clips, project and timeline. Four ways to um, consolidate or archive out um, or media manage out media from Resolve, okay? So let's have a look at all four of those. Let's jump into Resolve. Now, the first thing one I want to do is I want to um, look at the media management function, okay? So the minute we go in edit, I've got a, a bin called edit and I've got a sequence called consolidate, which is the one we're on. Click on that and go file, media management, entire project, timelines and clips. Now, this is sort of self-explanatory, but I just wanna show you what it looks like. If we hit entire project, we can now navigate to a destination. Okay, and let's choose our desktop, let's choose our media management and hit project. Okay, that's now our destination for these clips. Now we can choose all media, use media, or use media and trim, okay? I'm going to use use media and keep trimming. I could add handles to that if I want to, uh, but I don't need to. I mean, that's fine, I'm just happy with this as it is. We've got use project name subfolder in there, that's gonna create a folder inside the folder that we create and these various, we don't wanna relink to new files, we wanna keep this separate, okay? Um, there is also a transcode option as well, where you can actually transcode out the clips as well. But let's see what this does. Okay, so here we go. Great, and we're just coming to the end of that process, and let's have a look what has been placed into those outside at finder level folders. Here we go, you can see there's a folder that's been created and the media clips. So next up, let's have a look at the next stage of the media management tool. If we go file, media management. Okay, so we've, we've looked at the entire project, okay? Now let's look at the timeline. Now, the timeline gives us similar things, copy and transcode. Again, I don't wanna transcode because my media is either native or it's already been pre-transcoded. Um, let's just find the destination for this timeline and uh, if you remember on my desktop I have a resolve media management and let's go timeline okay so we're choosing the timeline folder and we're going to choose this column and consolidate sequence which is the one that we're on now okay now what you can see is that at the minute um, I can copy the use media and that's going to literally duplicate the media that's in the project across 44.59 gigs or I can use the media trim tool Okay, and I'm going to trim it, and I'm actually just going to put um, 25 frames on this too, and um, hit go. And now you can see that um, it's processing, and it's literally collapsing uh, the 44.59 gigabytes down to 6.31 gigs. So that's not too bad. Okay, notice as well it's grayed out here because um, I've hit the I've started the process the tick for the use project name subfolder. This is gonna be really handy because this is gonna create the subfolder inside the folder that we've created. So it just keeps everything more sort of ordered and efficient. Okay, that process is almost done. Finished. Let's minimize and let's go to the media management folder on the desktop. And you can see, look, in the timeline folder, now we've created our Unipro subfolder, and in there we have all of the consolidated clips, which is great. But not only that, we have this file, this consolidate.drt file. Okay, now this is the this is the sequence actually that's just been consolidated. So that's really useful, and you can import that as simply as doing this. Go back to Resolve. Um, I've created an import console bin here, and what you can do is just drag it in. Just drag that in, and there you go. There's your consolidate timeline. There it is, opened up ready to go. Let's go back to the main sequence now. Okay, now let's have a look at the clips. Now in order to media manage these clips, we need to select the clips that you want to media manage. So I'm gonna go um, Command A, highlight them all, then go to File, Media Management Tool, 
and jump over to clips now. And again, it gives us the copy or transcode option. I'm going to just copy. Um, let's just change the destination. We want the destination to be in the clips folder. Okay, and now let's have a look. So at the minute, we can select all the, the, the clips in the media pool. Uh, we can select the timeline clips. There we go. So once I've selected that, it's now looking at these highlighted orange, uh, orangey red clips here. Okay. Uh, we can use all media, use media, uh, but I'm going to use the trim tool as well again on this time. Um, here you go. Tick use project name subfolder again, really useful. And we have got the current size along the new consolidated size. Okay. So hit start. Great, and that's done. Let's now minimize and let's have a look, collapse down the timeline. And look, inside the clips, we have the Unipro folder with all the clips. Notice there's no DRT file, there's no project file, it's just the clips in the order that they were consolidated. Um, great, and that can be very, maybe very useful for you to, to move that onto the system or to archive. So we have today, we have looked at the um, project. We have a project in here but again it doesn't come with a project file you need to re-export that from the home page in, in resolve we have got the timeline with the sequence DRT file and we've got the clips which is just the clips okay all in those subfolders Unipro subfolders okay good now let's have a look at the archive function which is a bit different let's go back to resolve now we're in this sequence um, let's hit save I now want to go to the home page, so I'm not, I'm not going to the file media management section now. I'm actually going to jump over to the home page. And this is a different way of, of doing a combination of all of those three things. There's our project, right click, and we choose export project archive. Okay, click on that, choose your archive folder, hit save, and it's going to bring up this box. Um, there isn't any proxy media attached to this, and I don't want them in the cache, but I do want the media files. Okay. It's the location is already ready to go. Hit OK. OK, so we just come into the end of this now. OK, now let's minimize and let's go to the media management folder on the desktop and let's have a look inside the archive. So inside the archive, we have the Unipro folder and we have a project, DRP, and we have the media. And we've also got some um, media management that follows the actual resolved media management structure. Okay, all the way through. So <clears throat> what you find is that the project archive is, is more like a very, very, very incredibly detailed consolidate of, of everything, actually. Project structure, media, edits, um, very, very, very thorough. Also, you know, this is incredibly important for archiving once you've finished a project, but What's great about this is that you can utilize this to pass this on to another part of the post-production team. I hope you've enjoyed that video. Please give me a like or subscribe or type in down below demos you'd like to see next. Catch you next time.